Hi and welcome back to Peter Ford Magic. Today I'm going to open up the Tally Ho Spectrum playing cards. I bought these a couple of years ago and I haven't opened them up, um, which I feel is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to open them up now together and see what we have inside. <laughs> Okay, so here you have it, the Tally Ho playing cards. This is a 2014 run, one back design with 52 different colours. That's pretty cool. You have on the side United States Playing Card Company, uh, Linoid Finish, the Spectrum playing card with a number nine. Okay, so let's open them up and have a look inside what we've got. So let's be as careful as you can. Okay, let's open them up and have a look inside. So it's a very nice tuck box design there. Please take them out. As you can see, I've not opened them up yet. Let's see what we have inside this pack. Okay, so the first thing you can see is there is a gaff card, double backer, which is yellow and is that sort of burgundy. And then you have another double backer with a sort of blue and then this, the spectrum design that's which is really nice okay you've got two jokers one with a guarantee card um if the magic you've seen isn't all you hoped it would be perhaps you just need to believe we guarantee that the card you'll be picked is the nine of diamonds so that's a cool reveal on the joker there which is really really nice and you have another joker here uh, which i will get into in a shortly the order of these pips which they do make a difference so as you notice the cards are in a completely different order straight out of the box now this is the Soy Stebbins order and if you're not familiar with this it is a pre um, arranged deck um, so you you can actually work out what card comes next in this deck if you're not familiar with that so this is the Tally Ho Ace of Spades which is really really nice this is also a reveal. You can see there the nine. Um, I think that's the diamonds. I think it's, a re it's either a nine of diamonds or a nine of spade reveal, but you can see the nine in the middle there, which is, which is really nice. If I turn them over, you can be able to see the most spectacular part of this, which is the spectrum colors. So as you can see, which is really, really nice, colors go all the way through, gradually go through all the different colors there. Uh, in the order, uh, which is really, really nice. And obviously the order you need to put them in is the size step in stack order. Um, so each card in the size step in stack alternate suits is it's called the chased order, C-H-A-S-E-D. Uh, and a good way to remember that is, is to sieve clubs, H for hearts, spades and diamonds. Now, if you can't remember that, um, it has a good reminder on the Joker. Now, if you notice here, you've got the clubs, you've got the hearts, you've got the spades and the diamonds. Now, that is the actual order of a size sevens stack. So what they do is a numerical value greater than the preceding card. And they give a number, obviously, so you've got the ace, three to ten, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when you get to the jack, the jack is 11, the queen is 12 and the king is 13. Uh, and the deck goes through this stack uh, in cyclic orders. Let's always see goes through the cycles. Is there any card in the deck can be used to determine the next card, which is which is really really cool. There's lots and lots of tricks you can do with this. Uh, I'm going to be posting a few on the channel. What you can use with this deck, or you can prearrange your deck into the in the Sai Stebbins order there, which is which is really really good. Um, so I'm going to take you through now uh, just a quick example of how you predict the next card which, which is really really good um, so basically if you stopped off at the seven seven of diamonds as, as an example uh, and you cut the cards you can predict what the next card is going to be so you've got the seven here so the order that they go in in the size sevens is is in the value of three so if you see a seven you, then you know the next card it's going to be eight nine ten is going to be a ten and then it's going to be the next one in the order of the suits. So after diamonds on this card, as you can see, comes clubs. So we pick another one. 
say let's pick uh, clubs. So we pick the eight. So the eight after eight will be three. So it'll be nine, 10 and 11. So 11 being a jack. So you've got the jack and then it'll be a heart. And then you can see the heart is after hearts becomes spades. So there you go. So eight, jack, ace and four. So it's exactly the same. So uh, we're just, okay. So let's do it one more time. So we've got it in a side steppings order. Um, let's say the audience is gonna cut the deck, let's say here. Okay, as an example, so you've got the Queen of Hearts. So before the Queen of Hearts, as I say, you've got the next, so we Queen, after Queen, it would be um, King, and then after King, we've got Ace, and then Two, so you know it'd be a Two. After Hearts is Spades, so you know this will be the Two of Spades. So there you go. How cool is that? So it's a really good way to start the deck. A um, little bit of practice, um, to get it in order, chased is, is a, as I say, is a good one to remember. Chased uh, as, a, as a remember, uh, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds to remember the order. Uh, and then obviously you've got it on here of the the Joker as a as a reminder there. Hope you enjoyed this video of the tally ho deck. Um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you next time. Thank you.